anytime someone tries to do that, it fails, including, including Facebook. Facebook's like, oh, you know, we've already got the social network, so let's add a currency. How's the Facebook crypto doing? Oh, it doesn't exist. O oopsie. You know, yeah. how's, how's PayPal's uh, crypto? By the way, as oh, an they aside, don't have one either. Oops. I, I, you mentioned Facebook and PayPal. Just as an aside, let me go on one of my rants just for a second. This is, I think people mm -hmm. like, okay. Look, you're talking about, this is where we differ, okay? I believe in open source software, right? And we're going to talk about that. I believe like Linux, okay? Linus Torvalds, not exactly the richest guy, probably not as rich as you, okay? But mm -hmm. he's helped the world. You're talking about who's awesome, you know, yeah. I who's awesome. People like that. People who create and give away scientists, right? Open source and so on. People who give away stuff. And sometimes- oh, you're going to lose science. this argument so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. This, this is going to be awesome. So uh, the engine of progress, right? Throughout history is what? Yeah. Scientists racing to give away their ideas, right? Like Einstein. No, right? no. Well, hold on. Let me do my rant, let me do my rants too. So we're gonna okay. we're gonna do like 50 50 if you don't mind. Because it's something go. More interesting. It's your show. Talk as much as you want. Thanks. Um, let's talk about Facebook. Okay, just to give you an example. Who is okay? So Facebook and Twitter are currently privately owned. We have one guy, literally Elon Musk. No, yeah. Facebook's a publicly a public company. Yes, we can Twitter's talk about the shares. Held. We can talk about how the public can your grandma can buy five shares in it. Yes. But at the end of the day, Zuck cannot be voted out. Just say controlled, company. not owned, and you're fine. fine. Okay, so, great. So that little switch, it's privately controlled by a few people. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Those people, the government knows who they are. They're right there. Okay. They can work with them and not tell you. Now, Zuck wasn't always like this. This is my point. In high school, Zuckerberg was offered a million dollars by Microsoft for like a thing he did for like Winamp. Okay. Million dollars. He turned it down, put it out as open source. Okay. In college, he made face mash, he made Facebook. He was this open source guy, bro. Okay. And he liked to create stuff for the people. Now, what happened was what's interesting is, and I was there, I was in 2010, uh, TechCrunch Disrupt, listening to Sean Parker. Okay. What happened was Sean Parker was saying, that when he when Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook, he was actually also looking to do wait for it a decentralized encrypted open source um, sort of uh, peer to peer file sharing system. And I'm actually I want to share my screen because I think it's important to back up a lot of what I say. I don't want to just say it, but just like you, I love to talk about controversial stuff. You would say what? That's not possible. But that's exactly what what happens. So, um, so that. If, yeah. if anyone ever sees my copy of this, uh, he shared a screen. You can't see it because I would disappear, but uh, I can see it. Ah, okay, that's important. To, that's fine. Uh, yeah, let me uh, let me find let me find the actual. Here we go. The actual. So, so let me so let me just disprove your argument for your. Well, hold on. Quick. Okay, let me let me. So my, how's my how how popular are Mark Zuckerberg's open source things, and how popular is his closed source thing? Right. And you know, oh, like a billion you know, but, times more popular than the closed source thing. Yeah. Mm. But this is, this is why, this is why. Okay. Because you know what else has that building. property? No, everything because, else has that same property. No, because every single, every single private thing, yeah. ass kill, murder, annihilates every single private thing, except one single place, web hosting. Okay. And that's totally, it. Totally, totally. That's literally with it. That. I'll give you, I'll give you facts the other well, way. Give me examples. Okay, but first, before, yeah, you asked me about Mark Zuckerberg. The reason why no, I didn't, <laughs> I did not. You introduced you just, this. You guy. Just literally said why is uh, how much is why Mark Zuckerberg's um uh thing? You know the, the oh, his, his closed source thing. Yeah, that no one's ever heard so let, of, let me yeah. just tell you something. The machine, the Matrix, they killed his open source thing. They turned Mark Zuckerberg okay. from an open source guy to a corporate golden boy, okay, who buys up Instagram, who buys up the competitors, WeChat, uh, everybody quit from, you know, all, all of the, um, uh, the people that made some of the best apps here, like, but you're, Instagram is you're supporting program. my argument, you're telling I me, no, that. I agree with your argument. We are, <laughs> okay. see, we're on the same side of the libertarian argument, we're on different sides of the give it away argument, okay, of the freedom argument. So let me just talk about facts for a second. So I was there, we put a so he goes, we put a bullet in that thing. Okay. That's how Sean Parker fondly looks back at Wirehog. A little bit about all these guys. Sean Parker used to be a guy who wanted to give away and share, uh, you know, music, Napster. Okay. Another industry, another monopolist. I, I think you mean steel, but sure. Yeah. But okay. 
We'll talk about that for a second. So that's fine. <laughs> I love this. I love Give this. away music. Like he's on the drums. No, but intellectual property, right? What is property, right? So you're basically talking about excluding other people from playing a song, from using an idea. Well, hey, Bel Belarus just made it legal to steal intellectual property from some countries. So oh, we there need you the go. Permission? We, we need the government's permission to play a song. I mean, uh, these days, uh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. I Steve. mean, uh, you need permission to speak on, on some of these platforms now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you got to beg the algorithm to get uh, eyeballs and then you got to not say certain words or they just ban you. I've been banned three or four times. So are you uh and the, I'm banned from Facebook, banned from over I've been banned from yeah. YouTube three or four times. We've got unbanned magically somehow, don't know how. Um, literally don't know how. You're just you beg the ether and you're like, does anyone work at Google? Can can someone unban me, please? Thanks. So wait, so people, uh, this is this is the great Richard Hart who made Hex, who is awesome, the, well, the awesomest person, and yet you're begging well, some of these corporations yep. and governments to give you basic That's features. Right. Yeah. Sucking middleman D because they're not regulated as utilities. See, the funny thing is you want more regulation a, of them. A lot of life. Yeah, I do. Talk about the, it. Okay. The, Tell me about it. Sure. So you've got two enemies in your day to day life. You've got the bad guys. So, so let's say you grew up in Florida as I did and you're driving down the street. There's two people coming to screw you up. The cops are coming to screw you up and pull you over and maybe kill you for whatever you didn't come to a complete stop at a stop sign. Uh, you know, you didn't pause long enough in a lane before getting into the next lane. You, uh, you exceeded the speed limit, which they're going to be doing on the way home as well. But Hey, you know, you were trying to get to work. So New York City, you. you got these police benevolent cards that let you go for small things. It's yeah, awesome. I used to have this. I had, <laughs> yeah, what do you I think of that? Fraternal order of police license plate and card and stuff. I, yeah. I mean, uh, well, it's for me, but not for thee kind of thing. It's, I I think it's like name dropping kind of. It's uh, for laws, for enforcement of laws. Yeah, yeah, but for like half of these laws suck. So Thank if someone you. escapes okay. the suck, you're like, yes. uh oh, let's let's crabs yes. in a bucket. That guy, he he escaped the suck. Uh oh no. Um. So like, but you want more laws? You want more regulation? Yeah, that because will the opposite of a bad law is not no law. It's a good law. So, so what would be a good very, law in your um, opinion with Twitter and sure. Facebook? Sure, very easily. We have competition amongst internet connection providers because Ma Bell got broke up. Sure. We used to have one single telecom company that ran everything. And the government said, hey, you know what? Capitalism is great and capitalism works because people have choice and competition. Capitalism and so is great. So if you have competition and system, choice, then, it works, then yeah. you breed excellence. Right. Yeah. Competition of choice breeds excellence. If you have a monopoly or an emergent monopoly that just kind of happened, even though Sucks. no one worked for it, like social media, then you don't have any choice and therefore you don't have any competition and therefore you don't have any progress and it gets worse and worse every year for the user instead of better and better. And so mm -hmm. if you want to see competition among social networks, mm -hmm. You have to make them, you have to regulate them as utilities, make them open up the user data so that the users own it and control it, and then mm -hmm. they can migrate it to wherever they're treated best. And so you have a base layer, and then you have value out on top of it. So you had you had your DSL line sitting at the local CLEC uh, exchange building, mm -hmm. and then they would allow other people to value out on top of it. So people would add chat rooms, people would add news groups, people would add email, mm -hmm. people would add storage on top of the base layer. And then you can't just be immediately canceled because the government will protect your right to exist, to speak, to have the ability to transact digitally. So in other words, you want right these now, corporations to have less ability to tell people what to do on their platform. Mm, no, I want there to be more competition so that one when one guy uses his corporate right to abuse you because right. you're in his house and go start your own platform. And by the way, when you do try and start your own platform, they turn off your hosting because we've seen that. So this idea that you can just go create your own platform is retarded. 
which is why you don't oh, you're have just any preaching other to the choir, brother. Exactly. There yeah, is- I already, I already have, I already have accounts on all the alternative platforms, and I also have no viewers because no one there cares. <laughs>